Okay. Hanzo. Oh no, Hattori. Greetings. Buy some junk. What? First of all, uh, buy these because we don't care about them. Second of all, buy all of these because we don't care about them. Okay, we have 60 out of 160. Perfect. So long. And let's go to the ship. So this is basically the end game. I'm pretty sure nothing else happens. At least not too much. I mean, end of the game. End of the base game. Because we still haven't fin started the Hearts of Stone and the Blood and Wine. Both of which add quite a bit. The second one better. I mean, Blood and Wine is the game of the year for when it came out. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. Hello. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I mean. I'm, she's not plotting right now. She did say that she's gonna try to persuade the Lodge to help us with the amnesty in the Empire. So I don't really care about this one. Let's do this. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. Oh, okay. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. Okay. Avalak, where are you? Oh, here. Okay. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Yeah, sure. Anchors away. That's a nice view. Okay. Don't steal. Especially not sweet rolls. Okay, what do we... Oh, Undvik. That's automatic, that's good. <laughs> oh, Siri has a fur coat. Fur... Uh, scarf kind of thing. <laughs> doing That's suspicious. Well, that settles the question of his imperial majesty's whereabouts. Oh, he's there. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the isles with Sintra and the rest of the empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. Do we have to meet the Emperor? He's kind of a dick. I don't really wanna. I mean... We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Uh, oh, can you teleport me onto the ship? Uh, I mean, that's safe. They're gonna probably pepper me with crossbow bolts. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? But sure. No chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. 
Uh, oh, do they know us? Do they know we are they here? They know we're here. And me as mages, of course. Okay. If the matter of Fragilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her. Once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I mean, I can just swim. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? Yes. You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say... The white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. I can swim underwater. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Okay. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would we be familiar with an Elven legend? Uh, sure, let's hear it. Dallas, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillian. Yet she spurned him. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't be <laughs> <any of you laughs> On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillian a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillian's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. I mean, she didn't want to summon them. So uh, it could be useful. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. Dick. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. You would think that the sorceress would have would have some kind of motion sickness drug. The sun but no, Skellige. they just puke downstairs. From legends, elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermian, I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Okay, I'm off. I'm off. Hello, luck. Siri. Oh, good luck. Thank you. The Sunstone. Oh, we can read the letter. We don't really care for the letter. Pick up Fringilla from the ship. Where is this exactly? Oh, it's kind of far away. So the ship is here. We probably could go to the Madeline coast. And the other one... Oh, we have to find the Sunstone. I mean, obviously it's somewhere here. Uh... Veni Vidi Vigo. Oh, because Fringilla Vigo. Okay, yeah, sure. That's a... I guess that's a decent pun. Okay. So, we are gonna teleport that other way. 34. Okay. I don't need... I don't need any more levels. I only need skill points. So even places of power would be good. Now let's see. This is closer. Though all of the ships are probably like this. Because this is deeper water. I guess the Madeline Coast is good. Yep. Uh, let's see. It's clearing up. 
Oh, I'm supposed to do this at night. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought maybe I could skip this, but no. Okay. Oh, yeah, I should probably check the whale. Uh, where's the whale? This is it? No. This one? No. This one. I probably won't have to fight, so this should be enough. Yeah, we have raiders there. Quick save, just... Just so we don't really have to do much. I don't think it matters much if they see me or not. Well, let's see. That's the one. Okay, let's see. It's a golden one. I'm pretty sure they shouldn't be able to see me that deep. So we can just simply swim straight. We do have a good amount of breath because we drank the potion. Hmm. Which one was it? I think it was this one. Okay, there's no... No lights here. Should be safe? Yes, Andrew's it's the orders. Witcher! Stand down. It's me! How do I climb up here? Oh, it's somewhere here. Oh! We use... Okay. We use the anchor. Please don't try to attack me. Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. I wonder how we, how he would react to Zarkania. You're insolent, because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. Oh, when that happens, you can but be sure I'm going to kill you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So Here, here's take a this letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. Oh, maybe not yet. We may remove her Dimeritian shackles. Maybe not yet. She's gonna go berserk. That's not good. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. 
She's gonna teleport, sure. That's fine. Can I teleport, please? I don't mind portals. Teleports. And have it your way. Let's go. Okay, good. Thank you, Geralt. Okay. Oh. Hello, crack. I need the sunstone. Friends, we show heart. That's a nice oh, cave. Show our Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Uh huh. So more. You could use Where's a fire ship. Went to see Lugas. Oh. An arm crate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> Now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermion. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Okay, so now we have to talk to Ermion. It's a good thing we have all of the fast travel thing. Things. Uh, oh yeah, exchange this for the thunderbolt because we don't really care about them. What are those? Olives. I guess that's okay. We have so much money. We don't really have anything to spend it on. I don't really care to make the other armors, though the wolf armor looks really good. But this looks better. I think. Hello, we go here, we talk to Lugos, he's gonna be angry with us because something. And then I don't remember. Well, it doesn't matter that much. Hey there, Ermin. I'll not kneel before an Ancrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to hate the Black Ones? I'd sooner hate the rights of bleeding Moorhog than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men? What do they say? Will they follow you when the Yarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Oh, is that... is that a threat? Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That's your bark before you bite. Uh-huh. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Oh, you just fight me? Okay. Okay. I mean... This could be civil. Never mind. Oh, that was sneaky. Okay. Armin! Go away, you fat son of a- ah. Okay. Nice! Okay, we are very strong with the sword. Though I'm pretty sure... They never learn. I mean, this guy was pretty skilled uh, in story, I think. But and he was pretty sure of himself. But this is a game. We can win against like twenty different people at once. Oh, ah, this won't properly. Damn it! Uh huh. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's use Axie. Or maybe not. That's fine. Does this guy have a shield? No, he's an Axeman. So two hits should be enough. You are a 
shield person, and apparently we don't need a sword for you. Hmm. I don't know how many people can Geralt kill at once, but I'm pretty sure like five of them wouldn't be much of a problem. In books. Now then, what do you want to do, Armin? We don't really have... Oh yeah, we do want to ask about the sunstone. I already forgot. So wait, how many people are there? There's only Krach. There's the eldest one, I don't remember his name. And there's the one we helped and he doesn't have the, uh, his eye anymore. So only three Jarls. Yes, yeah, Jean-Claude Van Damme. I think Geralt is more like Chuck Norris. Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. I mean, that's fine. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kaer Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. And I'm I'm pretty sure nothing would have mattered. So, Clan Drummond will attack king. sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? Do we have a choice to talk? Yeah. So first of all, I think whether we chose uh, Hjalmar or Ceres, this is the same outcome. If we chose, I mean, if we didn't help them and the other guy was gang, I'm pretty sure Lugas would still be kind of angry. How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And you oh. The lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Crack's will, or failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermian, know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. <laughs> You'll become a treasure hunter. Yeah, treasure hunter I've never Geralt. Found the NCA elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avid. He could help you. Oh. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. I mean I could Where have accessed them. I only Today, need like five boxes. In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fish lung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it. Maybe he's I a drowner. Suspicions. Hmm, not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Garrett. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. 
Okay. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Uh, gods protect us. Okay. Where is the closest place we can teleport from? I guess this one. R really? You want me to go there? I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, I do want to go here. I think there's a venomous arrakis inside here. So I do want to go there first. No use complaining about the weather. I didn't kill it previously because it was like level 32, 33. So it was a little bit too strong for me. Winds howling. Okay. We have lots of space so we don't really have to talk to the merchant. Okay, so we go to the lighthouse. The game probably won't give me too many experience points. Since Hearts of Stone starts at about 35. Oh, harpies. Oh, okay. Oh, that was double. Okay, I was lucky there. Do you want to attack? And he's dying. Good. Three thousand experience. Uh, experience hit. Uh, hit points. Damage. That's good. Uh, where do we want to go exactly? Down there. I think it's slightly safer if we try to swim there. Is it possible though? Am I gonna die here? Let's quick save. Geronimo! Oh! No, I died. Because I didn't jump properly. That was planned. <laughs> when the time of the white frost comes, remember to not eat yellow snow. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit too steep here. Maybe try to go like here. Oh, um, am I gonna survive this even? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. First we talk to the Pearl Divers. If we talk to Avent... I think he's supposed to tell us the important parts. Oh, hello, bear. If we talk to the bard first, uh, we couldn't really visit the divers. So I'm doing this is best. And there is a ship right next to here, so we Must are going to be able to. Boat. We are going to be able to go and use it to fast travel. Okay. I guess we do drink the cat and sure the thunderbolt too. Oh, they are here. Two of them. Okay. Hello. Look, Erling. Told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? Oh, What's that's smart one. Here? Yeah, I need your help, maybe? Never heard of Skelligers looting fallen warriors. That a tradition? I mean, these are your own people. You're not a voice. What do you mean, our own? These are feral scum. What does it matter? Went after the black ones with two long ships. Fish brains. Okay, hand the bodies over to the families. Uh, maybe. Learn to return the bodies to their families at least. I mean, once you're done. They speak true. 
Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever-loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Okay, sure. What about the risk? Risking a lot. Why? That a threat or something? Don't need to worry about me. But I heard calls underwater. Monsters must have sensed blood. Oh. I don't hear nothing. I have superhuman hearing, yeah. Things till it's too late. We best get out of here, Matthias. Good, but first tell me about Listen, the ruins. Heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Hermian. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Ah. Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. We got nothing else for you, so if you're done, we'd rather get back up top. I'm done. And good idea. Oh, so we do have the thing. And now we only have to talk to Yennefer. Oh, hello, Drowner. Come on. Okay, I do want to visit, go deeper here, because... Uh, why wasn't I able to attack? Hmm. Well, doesn't matter. Yeah, two hits and the odd did. Oh, it wasn't this one. So maybe it was the other one I missed. Oh. I mean, sure, doesn't matter that much. If it's like that, then I guess I don't really want to go visit the board. Oh no, they took the ship! Oh, there's another one on the other side. Uh, hmm. Let me get it out first, because I want to rest, it's too bright for me. Okay, one hour is fine. What's this? A bandit? A few of them. Hello, bandits. One hit. Hello. Giving me no choice. And you don't have legs. Okay. Now let's see. Hmm. We have to talk to Yennefer. Why do we have to talk to Yennefer? I don't really like her. And I guess we do have to go this way anyway, so... Let's just go along the road. And what's this? Uh, that's a... No, that's a cockatrice. Okay. Or maybe a basilis basilisk. And then this. This is the hybrid. Hello. You wanna fight? Yeah, we can fight. Okay, three hits. Yeah, we are strong. I think there's a guarded treasure and a place of power in those ruins. I guess we can also summon Roach. It's gonna be a little bit quicker. Sprint, please! Oh! Normally sprint, please. Oh, sh she's got problems because... Ah, uh, she's a bit... Yeah, uh, can I maybe dismount, please? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, like this is fine. I can just run away. That doesn't matter. Okay, run away! Run away! Okay, good. And now I should be able to summon Roach. Not there though. I guess this is fine, we go alongside this. And we can fast travel from Come the sun. On, okay, good. It an olive oil, because apparently they are very tasty by themselves. go like this. Perfect. Higher vampires are very powerful and extraordinarily intelligent. Okay. No such thing as bad ships or bad weather. 